Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you. My name is Stephen. How the hell are you? I said good evening. How the hell are you? This is my show. In case you didn't know. So sit right back and have a heart attack. We're a stroke. This is my show. So now you know. started one dark night, except it wasn't raining, and there were no wolves. Thank you. Anyway, how would I know that soon I would be performing the most horrendous, inhuman act imaginable? Well, I guess I better begin. It was like any other night at my apartment, nothing strange or unusual. I was just doing what I normally do. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the world premiere of Stephen Banks' newest musical. Based on John Steinbeck's immortal classic, The Grapes of Wrath, we bring you Grapes. Hey there, world, my name's Tom Joad. I'm out of jail and I'm hitting the road. I'm going home, I'm going home. Ma. Hi, Tommy. We gotta get out of here. The dust bowl's coming. <laughs> dust, dust, dust. Nothing but dust, dust, dust. Banks are bust. Leave, we must, must, must. Come on, everybody. Get in the truck. We gotta go to California. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Jump on board, Grandpa. California, here I uh. Oh, no, Grandpa's dead. <laughs> California, <laughs> we made it. Okay, I'm the top banana around here. I need workers. Take you, 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 and you. Pay us two cents an hour. But wait a minute, that's unfair. Union, organize. Look for the union labor. I'll get you, union bastards. Take that. Get out of here, you union. You. Hey, Tom, don't do him. Tom, stop, Tom. <laughs> You killed him. He's dead. Hail Tom Jode. The wicked banana is dead. May I have its peel? Yes. And take it with you. I brought you the peel of the wicked banana. Can I go home now? No. Come back tomorrow. But you promised. <laughs> Wait, Tom. Here comes someone who can help you. Ling, 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 ling. Oh, Tom. You've always had the power to go home. I have? Yes. Just get in the truck, turn around, and go. Hey there, world. My name's Tom Jode, and I'm going home to Oklahoma. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Masterpiece changes. Yeah, boy, what an audience. The hell with the audience. Let's read those reviews. From the desk of Jack Schaefer, CPA. Dear Stephen, your extensions are up. We have to file your tax return immediately. I assume you've got all your receipts in order. Receipts, receipts, receipts. R-E-C-E-I-P-T, that's what I really needed. R-E-C-E-I-P-T, that's what I really needed. <laughs> For this is the night, it's a beautiful night, and they call it Bella Note. Take that! Oh, oh, oh God, help me! me. God, help me! Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's bad. Hi. Looks like your parents are in San Antonio, Texas. Oh, what happened? 
Well, you know, I was reaching down inside this jar of kosher pickled peppers. Oh. And this one last pepper was uh, swimming around in the brine, and I tried to stab it with my nail. Mm. <laughs> and then, bam, my cousin Angelica whips up in the pantry door, and she hits my cousin Hippolyta on the funny bone. Oh. So she was dancing around in pain, and she knocked into me, and she scrunched my hand right into the jar. Well, mm. sign. Oh. <clears throat> you know, I met your new neighbors. Oh, yeah? What are they like? Mmm, they couldn't keep their hands off each other. Oh, real affectionate? No, real dangerous. Like a hot, a sweaty, love, hate, dog lost kind of passion. It kind of reminds me the way I was with my old boyfriend, Pinto, before the operation. Well, got you on the flip side, baby. Okay, thanks, Lupe. Uh, say, and... Antonio. Oh, cool, Bowie knife. Jimboe, Jimboe. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> Hello. Hi. We're your new neighbors. I'm Benjamin Barker, and this is my wife, Monique. Oh, hi. I'm Stephen Banks. Uh, do you want to come in? No, oh, no. We couldn't possibly impose. We cannot insult him. You're so right. Uh, I'm sorry I don't uh, have a tea. I uh, wish I could offer you tea or french fries or something, but I, I just got uh, Bosco and, and, and Mrs. Cubison's stuffing. Please, don't trouble yourself. He is trying to be hospitable, no? We cannot refuse. Very well. Oh. I'll have a glass of Bosco, and Monique will have Mrs. Cubison's stuffing. I would like to say Bosco. You know what Madame Cubison's stuffing does to me. Oh, too well. Oh. <clears throat> sure, <clears throat> make yourself comfortable. Oh, what a beautiful instrument. Oh! We must ask permission before we touch things. Mustn't we? Mustn't we? We? Who are you, the Pope? That's right. Ah! Take this, your eminence. Yeah. Ah, you are a musician. Well, yeah, I fool around a little bit. I love the rock and roll. <laughs> Benjamin, of course, is too old to rock and roll. <laughs> you must play me a song sometime, no? Sure. You are very cute. Like a petit enfant to paradis. You remind me of a young Jean-Louis Barrault. And you remind me of an old friend. Ah! I will be going now. It was very nice to meet you, Etienne. <laughs> Hmm. Sometime you must try some French stuffing. <laughs> um, do you, do you, uh, do you still want your Bosco? Not particularly. <laughs> but I certainly could use. Uh, Something like this. Yes. Such amusing toys your Americans have. Might I borrow this? I promise I'll return it tomorrow. Is that all right? Sure. Sure, yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Hold on for just a second, please. Ripping. Absolutely ripping. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Mr. Schaefer. Yeah, yeah, I, I got all my receipts. I'll bring them by tonight. They need to be organized. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. to London and Paris? Huh? I heard them, too. They're right below me. Did you meet them? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think there's something weird going on over there. Well, of course there is. Just check out her eyes. 
She's got the killer iris. Killer iris? Is there an echo in here, music man? She's gonna do him. He'll be dead by tonight in a body bag. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. I mean, he, he borrowed my boy knife. I, his eyes. Wait a minute, you think they're both killers? I'm going next door to find out. Be prepared to call the boys in blue. Pepper, I was right. They both have killer irises. No, I'll explain later. Okay, look, I'm taking you into the closet. Very funny. Okay, now listen. If you hear anything strange, call the police and tell them to go to apartment 464. Okay, okay they're talking. They're talking right now. Listen. What do you think you're doing with that? I'll show you. Oh, there is someone at the door. Don't let him in. I'm letting you in. Don't. Wait. No. Wait. No. Wait. Ah! Ch Pepper, call the police. Pepper, call the police. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I gotta help Chuck. Hey, out of my way, Gene Kelly. You're okay. I'm always okay. But I heard him torturing you. <laughs> Little secret, thanks. When I get tortured, I get real quiet. What happened? I didn't get inside. Not yet, but I will. Meanwhile, I got some research to do. Hello, Pepper. Oh, hi, Mr. Shaper. No, I got everything, I got everything together and I'll bring it by tonight. What time? By nine? Oh, well, you're working pretty late. Oh, because of people like me, yeah. Well, look, I'll get it over to you. No, no, I won't, I won't lose December this year. Thanks, bye-bye. Hello. Hi. Do you have any poison? What? Poison. I have a rat in my apartment. A great, big rat. Um, uh, yeah, I think I have, uh... Something. Yeah. Yeah, here, you just need a, a, a teaspoonful. I'll take the whole bottle. Merci. I can't wait to kill him. He's become such a pest. <laughs> oh, where, oh, where is the December gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Hi. You Mr. Banks? Yeah. Hey, Mr. Colligan says you were witnessing a murder? Mm, well, not exactly. Uh, Chuck's our irises, and I was in the closet, and I heard the screams. Uh, let me get this straight. Somebody named Chuck saw the lady's flowers, and you were hiding out in the closet when you heard a scream. Well, no, 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 the irises of her eyes. And, and I wasn't hiding in the closet. And, well, see, she's, like, really French. And they pinch, and they slap, and then they kiss. And, and he's got my Bowie knife, and, and, and she's got my poison. And, and you think I'm making all this up, don't you? No, no, you couldn't make this up. Besides, I checked next door, and everybody's alive. Oh, ah, geez, I'm sorry I dragged you over here. You want something to drink? Hey, yeah, what do you got? Uh, I got Bosco. Ooh, you read my mind. Come on, Bosco, coming up. <laughs> you play? Nah, just sing a little. What kind of stuff do you sing? Yeah, just stuff. A little Betty, a little Bizet, a lot of Puccini. Wagner, on occasion. Bob Tocto, he's got some real cojones. What do you like? Uh... All those guys are great. Hey, you want a jam?
524 in progress on the corner of East Street and Kingsley Avenue. Yeah, all right, I'll be right there. Listen, Mr. Banks, thanks for the Bosco and the tunes. Sure. But do me a favor, huh? Stay out of the closet. Okay. Listen, here's my number. You can reach me over here. Thanks. So uh, this the police station? Nope. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Police woman! <laughs> Hello? Pepper, look. No, no, the police woman came and she didn't find anything. Yeah, she. No, but yeah, she was, she was cute. Listen to me. Well, kind of brown hair. Now listen, Joe. She, she had a great body. Listen, we shut. Look, look. I was alone with her, and we sang opera, and it was great. Okay. Now listen to me. Get your mind. Up. Listen, listen. I heard some more screams. Just a minute. Who is it? Benjamin Barker. It's him. What do I do? Yeah. Okay. I'm so terribly sorry to have disturbed you. I'm all through with this. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I'd ask you over to tea, but the place is a bloody mess. Uh, by the by, could I possibly borrow that splendid song? He's sawing something. Uh, it sounds like. Sounds like, you know those, those $1.98 steaks you get at, at Big Bob Steak World that are all bone? Thank you. That certainly worked up an appetite. Uh, How, how's your wife, Monique? Bad shape, actually. She had a bit of trouble with her arms and legs. Oh, you probably won't be seeing her for a while. By the by, I, I was wondering if I might borrow a mop. A mop? You know what he's mopping up in there, don't you? No. How would he do that to her? I got your answer right here, closet kid. Read that. I did a little digging. Check out page two. His wife, Monique Barker, was French. Probably from Paris, and the worst kind of French. Good shot. I'm going over there. Now look. Check it out. Night vision. I got an extra pair. Hang on to that in case you need it. Now I'm going to do a quick rappel off the fourth floor and take enough pictures to nail that bastard to the wall. Now get back in the closet. Don't let him borrow anything else. Hello? No, oh, Mr. Schaefer, I was just I was just going out the door. Yeah, I got everything except December. Hello? Great. Chuck? Pepper? Policewoman? It's Benjamin Barker. I, hi, hi, come on in. I. Thank you for the mop. No, no problem. You know, you've been such a sport about all this borrowing. I, I wonder if I might impose upon you just one last time. Uh, sure. Tell me, do you happen to have any large pots or roasting pans? Uh, wh 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 what are you cooking? Something French. <laughs> ah! Ah! Are you all right? Uh, yeah, fine. Just uh, I'm practicing some opera. Ah! 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 Where are you? You're very good. Thank you. Chuck! You know, it, it hasn't been easy adjusting to a new country, a new culture. In fact, I must say, there are some rather peculiar characters in this building. <laughs> Oddly enough, you seem to be the only normal person we've met. <laughs> Oh, my. You've blown a fuse. Uh, hello? Mr. Banks? Mr. Banks, where are you? I, I can't see a bloody thing. Hello? There we go. Thanks. Sarah, what the bloody hell are you doing? Sarah, leave me alone. Please hang up. Try to call again. Or ask the operator for assistance. Ah! Oh, what the hell are you doing? 
to my husband. This is Barker. Uh, oh, you crazy. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. Oh, you out of your mind. I'm sorry. Oh, you're all insane. Oh. And you're the worst, Mr. Banks. Come, mon petit chou. Let me rub you all better. Oh. <laughs> hey, grab my rope. The partners renovated their whole apartment. Red tape. Looks great. Except for that big dead rat. Don't stop propelling all the building. Relax, Father Time. I'll give you a ride. Promise? <laughs> The Barkers were going to file a complaint, but since they're moving out, I convinced them to drop it. Thanks, I appreciate it. I know Monique was really upset. Who's Monique? Barker's wife. You know, she's French. Huh? Barker's wife, his name is Heather, and she's English. <laughs> mm, this is really delicious. You mm. know, I wasn't going to tell you this, but I had made a lasagna, mm -hmm. and I dropped it downstairs. <laughs> Luckily, your neighbor, Mr. Barker, was passing by, and he offered me some meat from his freezer. Thanks! Stop eating your neighbors! <laughs> Hi, my name's Stephen Banks. Uh, we ran a little short on this show, so um, I'm just going to stare at you for a while. Hi, this is Steve. Please leave a message. Thanks! Stop staring at the audience! <laughs> Funding for this program was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by annual financial support from viewers like you.